the new intro. I think it's super cute. It just took a couple minutes to make and I love how it turned out. I hope that you guys like the new intro to my um, booktube, authortube related vlogs. I think it's fun and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Um, not for like the proper vlog introduction. Hello to all of you, my fellow. <laughs> Uh, book forums, book lovers, and writer enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another writing vlog. <laughs> As per usual, I've got my iced coffee. Keep me going because coffee is life. And um, yeah, I've got my Google Docs opened, I've got my project pulled up, and I am ready to write. But before I do that, there is something I want to talk about, which is this book and also if you have seen the video on my main channel as well michelle i just posted a video uh two days ago or something like that uh discussing my 2020 summer bucket list and if you haven't seen that yet go check it out but anyways on the bucket list i mentioned that i wanted to read at least three books this summer because recently I just haven't had the motivation or desire to pick up a book and like a physical book that's not on my phone and read it and I want to fix that because I used to be such I don't know I used to always have a book on me and I used to get in trouble in school because I was like reading a book instead of paying attention and I really miss just like sitting down with a good book and enjoying it you know and it's also a good way to achieve my other summer goal this year which is to have less time on my phone and so if I am not reading as much on my phone and more so with physical books then that is good but I just wanted to share with you guys the first book I'm gonna try to read for this summer it is Walt Disney an American original by Bob Thomas it's been sitting on my bookshelf for probably a year now honestly um and I've been really looking forward to reading it but I just haven't gotten a chance to read it so now's that chance and I am very excited to start reading it I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts on the book throughout these vlogs and um yeah so that's what's happening with that so there's nothing like really set in stone for this vlog it's just a ew, why does that always happen <laughs> someone should make a compilation of is that how you say that word compilation whatever of uh the amount of times my wrist pops on camera i don't even know if you guys can hear it but it cracks like so much anyways what was i talking about oh this vlog doesn't have like i don't have a specific goal in mind or really like any particular thing i want to get done i just want to do some writing because again uh another one of my summer bucket list goals that i actually didn't mention in the video i forgot to write it down but I want to try to write at least a little bit every day and although it's not summer yet I still have like a week or so or until summer starts for me and um although summer you know hasn't started yet for me it doesn't hurt to start trying to work on that goal now to get myself into that habit because habits take a while to form but once you form that habit it takes a while to break so that's my logic with this um <laughs> I haven't been the best at trying to write a little every day yet but I'm still I'm trying to be nice towards myself and not get super mad because again it's not summer yet so therefore my goal hasn't officially started so it's okay if I slack a little bit but I'm trying not to because once you start you go down that slippery slope and it's hard to make your way back up but um yeah I think that's enough of me rambling. I just want to write a little bit in this vlog and I'm going to work on my secret project book um, that, um, yeah, I'm just working on a secret project. I'm not going to say too much about it. Eventually you guys will learn about it, but for now, lips are sealed. What, what was that? I don't know. Lips are sealed for now. And uh, yeah, let's just jump on in and get some writing done. Yeah, so the plan for today's vlog is to work on book three of the Sabrina Banner series uh, and just kind of work on just starting to type it out and really get into it because all I have is the plot. I haven't actually started to read the chapters yet so I would like to do that today at least to start to do it today. Um, yeah I don't have like 
a due date for like this third book or anything yet but um I would like to try to get it done at least like again the first rough draft of it in a year because book one took about two years give or take two years and a half and then writing book two took three years because I was writing it while I was kind of writing book one and then um yeah I just kind of want to try to time crunch this a little bit more be more consistent with my writing and just see if I can get it done quicker than I got the other two books done so that is the goal it is so hot that there is just so much condensation on this it is ridiculous Alrighty, so it is currently 5.33. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some food. And just to check my word count, I have written six pages, which I think is really pretty good. Um, okay, word count. My word count is currently at 1,842 words. I am quite proud of myself. Still got quite a ways to go, but you know, for writing for like about a half hour. I think that's pretty darn good and I like what I've written. So now let's take a small break and get some food. <laughs> Dinner has been eaten and it is now just a little bit after 6. It's like 6.01. Something like that. I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm gonna try to see if I can finish this first chapter today. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. <laughs> There's this new character that I'm writing for uh, the third book of the Sabrina Banner series, and I'm not sure how I want him to look exactly yet. I have his name, a bit of his personality, but I don't know how he looks at all. So I'm gonna hop on over to Pinterest and do some character inspiration researching because Pinterest is actually really useful and it's super cool to like use it from a, a writing perspective. I don't know, I highly recommend if you're trying to figure out how to make a character look or how to describe a character, hop onto Pinterest. If you kind of know what your character is gonna look like, then just type in 
their gender and like hair color and skin color and then some things should pop up of different people and that might help you describe your characters a little better kind of having an idea of what they would look like in real life so that's what i'm gonna do for this new character and uh hopefully we get some good results because i think he's a super cute character i'm really excited about him actually he doesn't have a super big role but he is important to the main character and it's just i don't know i'm excited basically um sabrina my main character has never really like a focus of her hers has never been love has never mentioned having a boyfriend or a significant other or a crush or anything like that it just was never mentioned in the first book i didn't i thought about mentioning it in the second book a little bit developing some sort of love life for sabrina but i figured you know i already wrote this whole second book and i don't think she needs a significant other quite yet at least not for the purpose of the sequel it really went full low so i started playing around with different ideas character concepts and i think i settled on something that's just super cute super like i don't know it works with the story it doesn't seem too forced or just like randomly tossed in there but it's just something i've added for like the third book and i'm excited about it okay so i'm on pinterest right now and normally i would do this on my phone but i wanted to show you guys um an example of how to find people that might look like the character you're trying to create so uh let's type in let's see teen boy character inspiration i think this is a really great tool to like use to just kind of see what's like you know what's out there, how to properly describe a character, because it sometimes just really helps having um, something to actually look at. And you know what? I kind of, I like the way this guy looks, but I already have a character who has blonde hair and uh, sort of similar to that. So we're gonna keep scrolling because I do want to have like some diversity in my characters. See, you can even get more specific and it mentions like the hair color, if they have freckles, their ethnicity slash race or whatever. And I think it's just really cool. So maybe if I click on glasses and see what pops up. This character, he's kind of nerdy. I, I can see him really well with curly hair. So this guy right here actually is not uh, too far off, I think, from what I'm thinking about. But I, I, again, I don't really know for sure what exactly I want him to look like. So I'm just kind of browsing, seeing what's out there, or, you know, whatever I think may best suit this new character that I'm trying to develop. This guy that I found, he, um, I think he'd actually be a good model, for lack of better words, to kind of base this new character off of. Um, of course, you know, the people that you're, you're looking at might not always be exactly how you're imagining your character but again it's just a nice place to start um to try to you know describe your character as best as you can so your reader can picture them the way that you see them at least again as closely as possible now i'm actually going to write a little description of this character in my book and i'm gonna talk my way through it so you guys can kind of see my process of creating the appearance of a character. So, let's see. Hmm. There's so much pressure on me now that I have to like, that I'm talking out loud, but. Uh, Sabrina. You know what, I'll type the sentence and then I'll read it to you because I think it'll just work a little better that way, trust me. <laughs> Change of plans on how I want the character to look. I kind of like the way this guy looks more than the other guy that I just showed you guys. I don't know why, but something about him just seems to fit the character that I'm trying to create a little bit better. And I don't know. I just think this works and I wanted to update you guys on that. Okay, 
So, the line reads that I am going to share with you guys that uh, I wrote to describe this new character is... She didn't know exactly what it was about him that made her heart skip beats or made her so nervous at the thought of talking to him. Maybe it was the slightly curly ginger hair or the cute little freckles that were scattered across his face. Oh my gosh, snap out of it. Stop scare staring at him like a creep. Sabrina shook her head and blinked a couple of times. And uh, yeah. Um, again, it's kind of like a not super detailed description, but I think it's enough to like get some sort of mental picture of this new character. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below if I should add anything to it or if you think it, it works for the time being. But uh, yeah, other than that, I just finished up this chapter. I'm so proud of myself. And I really like how it, how it looks too. This is the first chapter in the novel. I mean, there's a prologue and I think I wrote that quite a while ago, but this is like the first actual chapter chapter that I've written and completed. And yeah, I like how it turned out. I think it's pretty good. I really like the first sentence, especially, of this chapter. I think it's kind of funny and has a little bit of humor in it. I also really wanted to talk more about Sabrina's friends and who are in the mortal world with her and don't know about the other realms or whatever. Uh, Jason and Demi, if you remember them from the first book. If not, it's really not much of a spoiler if you have or haven't read the first book yet. But if you haven't, you should. <laughs> Anyways, Jason and Demi are just Sabrina's friends who are immortal, they don't have any powers or any correlation with the other realms, and I don't really talk too much about them, so I wanted to shine a little spotlight on them uh, in this third book. They kind of just have baby scenes in book one and book two, so I'm giving them a little bit more um, to do in the third book, which I think is, is good, and I really like their characters too. I didn't have them very developed for the first and second book. They were kind of plain, not gonna lie. So I'm just spicing them up, jazzing them up a little bit, making them feel like real humans, I guess, real characters. And I like how it's going. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will show, tell you guys my final word count for this chapter. And it comes to 2,350 words, which for doing that in two hours, I think is pretty good. I'm quite pleased with what I got done tonight. I might continue to write and go on to the next chapter, but this vlog is already quite long. So I'm just going to end it here for you guys. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. And also give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Let me know, hmm, what's your favorite way to title your chapters? Do you like to do it with numbers, Roman numerals? Do you like to give them like a funny name? I don't know, just let me know how you like to title your chapters. Um, I'm mainly asking that because I just went through a moment where I was like, okay, this chapter title worked before. I wrote the chapter with what I originally had planned, but that plan has changed a little bit, so this chapter title no longer works, and I had to do a little research, try to figure out what I wanted the new title to be, so yeah, just let me know how you guys title your chapters. I would love to know. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now!